Good morning, EFTO fans. Welcome to another EFTO video. Uh, for those of you who may not know what EFTO is, basically it is a Czechoslovakian toy company, which as of 2006 uh, gained the rights to produce the famous Edretiec toy, or the uh, Petito toy. Uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing both of those correctly. Uh, basically it is a, well, to be blunt, a Playmobil knockoff. And at the time, 1976, these were produced uh, behind the Iron Curtain and import fees from Germany were uh, exorbitantly high. So as a parent in Czechoslovakia, these were really the only options you had if you wanted to have uh, fun toys for your kids to, to play with. So fast forward to 2006, uh, the original company, IGRA, went, un went under, and thankfully, EFCO was able to revive the brand. When I started to research uh, Playmobil knockoff brands, I kind of stumbled onto these guys randomly. I really didn't expect them to still be producing these type of toys. In fact, it's something so current as the coronavirus. Wow, this is really going to date this video pretty bad, but... This is what I found when I started uh, looking at eBay sales and other things, trying to find something to to to, re to review, you know, to view to you guys. So here we go. Uh, this is basically uh, what they have going. It is a single figure pack. Uh, basically, it is saying that to help stop the virus, we're going to uh, send uh, 15 uh, Corona or Corona. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that right. Oh, geez, I really wish I took. Czechoslovakian in college. Uh, anyway, so basically, with each one of these sales, they're they're sending 15 Corunas to to various uh, funds and things to help combat coronavirus. Uh, and 15 Corona basically equates to 69 cents uh, U.S. dollars. Uh, so that's not too bad. That's a that's a good amount of funds that are being sent to uh, to help fight this terrible disease. Oh my God, it's just it's just rambunctious around here. But um, anyway, uh, what we have here is a very simple figure. Uh, it does not have a nose. Let me bring the original figure here. Um, this, uh, this one is also produced by EFCO, but it has a nose and uh, it's very similar uh, to the other one. But as, as you can see, it has a face mask as pretty much everyone does these days. And so it's really a kind of timely figure. And not to mention you have a doctor. This this is the only figure that would really make sense to have a face mask in the first place. But you also have uh, the son here. He's got a little face mask too. He's being nice and protected. And you've got the daughter. Let's bring her out. Yep, she's protected as well. Uh, that's a single layer face mask. Uh, she might be. Uh, she might want a double mask eventually. Uh, but I want to say that I like how the. Uh, the, the shirt here kind of folds up, or it looks like it's folded until you uh, put the legs up. So that's pretty cool how it's uh, integrated into the design there. And last but not least, we have the father. Love his little uh, little sweater combo there. Uh, very nice detailed printing on the front here, as well as the pants. I love that. I just love the, the crisp lines you have there with the, uh, I, I don't know, it, just the amount of detail that you you know, as a small company, they didn't have to go to, but it's nice. It's, um, I just have to say that they had a nice customer service. They were able to, uh, work with me since I seem to be the only buyer of these things in the East, in the Western hemisphere rather. So, um, going through customs and going through my bank and, you know, everyone involved was very courteous and very kind. So really big shout out to those guys. Um, uh, to EFCO in particular, the marketing and sales uh, executive. Uh, but yeah, so I, I really like these figures. They're really interesting. They they all have the articulation and whatnot you would find from a Playmobil figure, uh, as well as rotating wrists. I believe the hair does come off, but I don't want to risk it. Uh, but also they have uh, unique features such as ears and uh, just slightly different legs and interesting, interesting feet, uh, something you don't see very often in terms of Playmobil figures, these actually can fit on Lego, if I can do it right from this angle. There we go. So as you can see, it can fit on Lego. There we go. And, and uh, that's something you don't see from normal Playmobil. So that's definitely a, a plus in their, their box there, um, as well as the fact that they just look better. They just look more I don't know, kid friendly to me than the traditional clicky figure from Playmobil. So 
in, in terms of likability, I just like the uh, the EFCO figures more. They're uh, they're colorful. They're they're you know, if it wasn't for the exorbitant amount of um, money that it took to ship these guys here, and I'm just saying there's a little bit, I probably would have bought more. You know, that's uh, just I'm just saying. Um, I'm becoming a fan of these guys, and just the fact that they want to help. Uh, just the fact that they want to help people and um, combat this virus is very, very admirable. So cheers to them. You know, they didn't have to do that. Uh, but yeah. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Until then, bye.